Hi, this is Sapnil Bhartia and we are back to our yearly prediction video series. And today we have with us Andrew Matson, technical evangelist from Dremio. Andrew, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. It's my pleasure to host you here today. And of course, I'm going to ask you to grab your crystal ball and share your predictions. But before that, quickly remind our viewers, what is Dremio all about? Dremio is a fantastic data lakehouse management platform. So we, we have one of the fastest query engines in the game, and we can manage lakehouses across cloud, multi-cloud, and hybrid environments. Perfect. Thank you. Now it's time for you to pick your crystal ball and share with us your predictions. So we're seeing a lot of interest from the industry and from our clients around AI. AI, of course, but AI comes with a lot of complexity, regulations, ethics. Um, part of that is data management. So data management is a huge focus for companies out there. And so we predict that data management will continue to be a focus and that that'll include data quality and data privacy. We also see uh, the data lakehouse growing uh, across the globe. And so the data warehouse came out in the 1990s and we're like, oh, this is great. We can have a centralized enterprise repository. And then things kind of went away from there uh, and, and branched into all these different structures. But now with the Lakehouse format, we're coming back to that and consolidating all of our data because AI can then use all of our data from one storage location. Or if you've got a platform like Dremio, you can access all of your data across all the storage locations from one central point. And so we see data lake houses coming um, really strong in 2025. And then lastly, as part of that, there's been the data lake house catalog news and the data lake house open table format news out there. There's been questions for a long time of which table format should companies go with, whether it be Delta Lake or Apache Hootie or Apache Iceberg. But given the recent news from several companies, but Databricks acquiring Tabular the, from the founders of Apache Iceberg and then AWS uh, recently launching at reInvent that they're going to give first class treatment to Apache Iceberg tables and S3, we think that there's going to be a huge growth in implementation of Apache Iceberg. Well, part of that is going to be data products. And so we hear data products a lot. You know, it, it kind of rolled out of data mesh and grew uh, in popularity, but we've seen a, a decrease in data mesh implementation, especially around governance. It's difficult to do decentralized governance. But the offset of that, the data products, we believe is going to stay. We see a ton of interest in data products creating use case specific, owned, governed uh, data that can be used for AI, for analytics. And this really will offload a lot of the work from the central IT teams, which can be a backlog, uh, and move it further towards the business who is generating and using that data for analytics AI to drive business value. So we, we predict there's going to be a large rise in data products as well. Thank you for sharing these predictions with us. Now, what kind of challenges you see are going to be there in 2025, not only for the whole ecosystem, but also for players like Dremio? So moving towards a lake house, it makes so much sense conceptually, but with the existing data landscape and with most IT estates, data is all over the place and it's in lots of different forms. So consolidating into a lake house can be a difficult challenge. So some of the challenges will be really thinking through what is our existing architecture, but where do we want to be and what trade-offs do we need to make? And is the lake house part of it? Or is a lake house all of it? Is it going to be a small part of it? So managing the challenges of updating and modernizing the existing IT estate, always going to be a challenge. Another challenge as a part of that is data quality. I mean, for decades, data quality has been a challenge to analytics, to machine learning, and now to AI. But AI really has higher stakes in terms of data quality because if we are moving towards more of an agentic model or a less supervised model of AI, data quality becomes imperative, especially with some of the high-risk use cases in healthcare or in finance, making decisions and providing uh, critical information to people. And so getting data quality under control and making sure that um, for the different use cases, there's dynamic data quality needs, but making sure that something is owned, governed, and well understood so that it can be consumed and productionized by AI. 
huge challenge. It's been a challenge for decades, but we believe that uh, pe people and organizations are going to start getting their hands around it. Uh, they've started in 2024, and we believe it's going to be a strong t trend in 2025. And lastly, uh, team organization. So as th these new technologies come out and these new paradigms of lake house or fabric or data mesh come out, it's not just a technology evolution. It's also a people evolution. So data teams are changing in, the, in both roles and responsibilities. Heavily centralized teams work for a lot of use cases, but we're seeing more and more that centralized data and IT teams aren't necessarily the best team structure for AI, for data products, and there's a rise of the analytics engineer. So moving data engineering further back, closer to the, the software and creating maybe the bronze layer of a medallion architecture having this new role of an analytics engineer and the silver, maybe gold architecture and the data analysts really interacting with the business um, can be a big challenge to figure out how should we structure our team? Who should do what for the future of our data and then what we want to do with our company? So those, those are key challenges we see coming up in 2025. Excellent. Thank you. Now, if you look at these challenges, what is going to be the focus of Dremio in 2025? Dremio is really focused on providing AI-ready data across all environments, so hybrid, on-prem, cloud, and multi-cloud environments. We're really focused on helping organizations get to a point where they have AI and analytics-ready data for their whole enterprise, regardless of where it's stored. Uh, we're also focused heavily on ensuring that the queries that access all of that data are lightning fast and reliable, and that managing the data across those environments is incredibly easy and user friendly. Because as we see the, the data team shifting, quote unquote, shift left, moving the business closer to the data, that means that the tools need to be incredibly user friendly so that uh, business users can get the most value from their data and that there are as few technology obstacles as possible. Andrew, thank you so much for taking time out and share these predictions with you. Of course, you know, I would love to have you again on the show next year to not only get a new set of predictions, but also see how many of your predictions turn out to be true. But I really appreciate your time today and thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.